This video will detail the startup procedures required on site. Before commencing works, the CCL project site manager shall ensure that all relevant information is available and that correct procedures are being followed. Number one, all necessary drawings have been received, for example, setting out and service drawings. Number two, any underground services have been located and marked out. Any other services to be found within the excavation area shall be located by CAT scan and hand digging. All operatives must have read and signed up to the Cherngold safe dig procedure attached to the back of the MS. Number three, principal contractor permit to dig system must be adhered to. Number four, all excavators will be checked to ensure all round vision is maintained at all times and recorded on the daily plant inspection statutory sheets, plant, pure, and Lola in line with the Cherngold procedures for statutory inspections. Plant will be immobilized until faults are rectified. Number five, sufficient personnel, plant, equipment, and materials will be allocated to enable contract to be carried out. Number six, employees must receive site induction prior to starting. This will be carried out by the principal contractor. Number seven, all non-CCL personnel will receive a Cherngold site induction prior to starting works. Number eight, the site supervisor shall discuss the contents of the method statements and risk assessments with the operatives carrying out the works. Operatives must sign the record form that they have understood contents and control measures. Number nine, all relevant risk assessments must also be discussed with the operatives carrying out the works and a signature stating that they understand the contents must be entered on the relevant form. Number 10, all personnel should have sufficient knowledge, skills and experience and also must be CSCS trained and to hold a current skill card appropriate for the work they will be undertaking. Number 11, personnel are not to carry out any works they are not trained to undertake. Number 12, all plant operators must be CPCS trained and hold a current CPCS card appropriate for the plant they will be operating with a safety critical medical. End pause is not accepted. Have a great day and thank you for watching.